Chin Veer drop down. So Sarko's lost his assault force to a rather funny little quirk of the engine. Or in, quirk of the game, rather. I'm just going to build another Annex, though. So much liquid crystal, I should really be building more infantry. And then if I can get more Q Plasma later on, I can turn them into vehicles if I have to. But for now, just get infantry, still at least get a solid army going. And now I can actually build some resource processors that have the chrono energy to do it. It's further enough into the less distant past. I can actually do this. I'm going to see what is Shalka up to. I'm curious what he's actually got built. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah, it looks like a Shin Beard fell off the face of the world. Or whatever you consider the face in this particular level. Anyway, so he's going to be stuck there for a little while, as in the rest of the game. <laughs> but at this point, it looks like it looks like Sarko's actually a bit confused as to what happened, and realizing that my F2 can't detect him. And yeah, it looks like Shalka... Okay, Shalka has some resource processors. I'm assaulting him, just going to try to get rid of these resource processors and take over again, just slowly conquering the map, steamrolling across both sides. Should have a risky strategy, but I guess no one's bothering to team up against me. I'm just going to also upgrade my teleport. At this point I got Gatex, so I'm going to start trying to chronoport units back and teleport units around. Vector units can self-teleport, so I can upgrade that and just have them teleport around the map instead of having to move. And looks like my test churches aren't finding anything around the center of the map, but yeah, it looks, yeah, Shalka's forces are coming in though, dealing, trying to deal with a amount of damage, but they're mostly octaves, so I was able to hit them all before they got close. And yeah, at this point, just to the assault, got a huge army coming in of air units just smacking around. In this map, air units are really great, which is why I was building so many test units before, so I could have effective anti-air, because I didn't know. Against CISO, not surprising if they want heavy air. And I'm going heavy air, so I don't see why anyone else would. At this point, though, looks like I'm going to be just steamrolling that expansion of Shalka's, and hopefully, oh, actually, you know what? No, it looks like Time Wave came up and changed something. I think Shalka must have changed something in the earlier past. But at this point, it still doesn't make a difference. I'm still dealing enough damage, just finishing off that expansion. I'm just going to see if I can do the same thing with Sarko's. Get rid of any expansion he may have near his main base. And, of course, build more infantry to fill up my army. And more vehicles, of course. And it looks like, yeah, my Halkeons are ready, so as soon as I get the resources for it... Oh, what am I saying? I've already built some Halkeons. So, at this point, I'm just going to start to send a Shin Halkion to support. Very powerful air units, and Teth Halkion, I'm going to try to teleport him over and have him. So, he's going to just move around, get over there, and deal some damage. And my slip gets also up, so if I want to, I can actually teleport units all the way across the map. Now that I think about it. And I can also chronoport them. So, I will be trying to chronoport some units because I want to get, get a Halkion or something just further into the past. Do a bit of a UPP, a minor UPP rush with a Zion Halkion or something. But it looks like I don't have the chrono energy or resources to actually do that. So I'm just going to build some Shin Churchers and do what I can with those for now in what part of the past I'm in now. So at this point, my attack on Shaka seems to be going fair. I don't know how actually how well it's going. It looks like he's actually dealing more damage to me than I am to him, according to the time waves. So I'm just going to have to maintain that, make sure nothing's falling apart there. Shin Turcher over, and yeah, so it looks like, actually, you know what, I'm actually now managing to deal more damage. Yep, this is being, yeah, so it looks like I'm going to be, I don't know he's, I don't know he's talking to. So anyway, it looks like I'm going to be just steamrolling this infantry assault. So he's got a bunch of base class dragon, which is actually dealing a fair amount of damage, but my units are fairly upgraded. I have a Shin Halkion, I've got Shin and Teth Turchers, a couple of them dying in the infantry falling off off the face of the earth. But, or face of this weird anti world that I created. And at this point, actually, my attack isn't going that well. It looks like I am starting to fall. But I might be able to get through it, and with some extra support, extra units. Let's see if I can send some back to. I don't know the chrono energy to do that. Okay, I'm gonna try at some point to send some back. But it looks like. No, it looks like actually, never mind. I'm gonna. I am managing to take it out. And the Arctic is gone, so if you had a hierarchy around the Arctic, it's now gone. So this unit's gonna be a lot harder to control for our farmer chrono energy, not gonna be able to make a hierarchy. And I can't actually queue up a Zion and Hellcat, so I've gotta make. out of depot space, apparently. So at this point, I'm just gonna make some more infantry, just to prepare for when I wanna transform them into vehicles, or build vehicles around them. And. it's like. I should. well, he's got it. The shot that is a fairly powerful army behind his main, but the main Arcticus out there, but still dealing with it. Oh, okay, it looks like he actually managed to hold out a bit longer before. So, 
regardless, I'm still managing to steamroll a fair bit. I don't know if he's going to be able to do anything further than the pass, or if he's going to try to do anything further than the pass to hold us off. But it looks like I'm going to be steamrolling him, and I'm going to see what's going to happen if I try to hit Sarko's main. Yeah, let's get a couple of resource passages there. Try to get rid of those, see if I can build around those. Get my Zion Beer just to attack move, and then build some resource processors if he manages to successfully attack the building. And let's see how the battle's going. So it looks like against Shalka, I'm actually managing to, yeah, manage to steamroll him. So at this point, he's just got some buildings around, and he's just getting rid of those. I'll probably get rid of the Reef, actually. I believe that heals Reckon, and he could be resur researching Chrono Boarding right now. And if it does that, that's going to be a lot harder for me to deal with. And speaking of Chrono Boarding, let's get this Zion Hockey on back in the past. I'm going to try to get it back in the past, and hopefully be able to deal some damage further back. First, I'm going to skip, skip teleport, and then after that, I can be able to chrono port it, then teleport it. Then, hopefully from there, it'll be able to get to help the, get in to help the attack. Just going to teleport it towards, and let's see what happens. And see, so it goes back, and I hopefully won't teleport into the middle net void of the map. Yeah, I don't know where it went. Okay, I think it teleported into the void of the map. I can't find it anymore. Okay, that's weird. Well, anyway, that was an odd chrono port. A little unsuccessful. Anyway, so, regardless, I'm still managing to deal a lot of damage to Shaka, but Sarkos looks like he's actually holding it. Or, is he holding it off? No, no, it's just I attack him further in the future. So, yeah, at this point, I'm managing to steamroll both players, and it looks like, it looks like Sarkos is actually coming in with the bottom. Tag me at this point, I'm just gonna try to get more vehicles up. I'm getting a bit, I'm just getting a bit distracted. I'm forgetting what hockeys to use. I've gotta get that in my head. They recently added Debo hockeys, so I'm still getting used to that. Everyone else has hockeys, but that was a recent addition, so now everyone has hockeys. So I'm just gonna try to get these resource processors over, teleport them into there, but it looks like, oh shoot, okay, they can't. So that can't get through. And now, yeah, like I said, Sarko's attacking me, and he's actually doing a lot of damage. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get through this. I need to get rid of the Mar tank though. My main my main force is the Shin Halgion, and the Mar tanks Mar tanks won't deal enough damage, but the tanks are fairly powerful. And, oh shoot! Okay, the tanks managed to get it. So now this force probably won't last too long. Well, actually, looking at the timeline, it looks like it looks like my forces actually did more damage earlier in the past when I was fighting against Shalka. So you know what? Maybe maybe in a few seconds I'll actually be able to do that time will come up, and I'll be able to do a lot more damage to Sarkoa's with the forces I have. But regardless, I'm still reinforcing a lot, so I'm going to be able to get these forces in, hopefully, and just reinforce the battle. Oh, okay, it looks like I'm no longer attacking. I never was in a battle with Sarkos. Either he's retreated, or my units really just managed to steamroll that. So now I'm just going to try to get ridden to the Greco main with a few area units, and just double check, sweep around the area, make sure that... Oh, okay, it looks like... Actually, okay, so it looks like I was fighting, and I somehow had more forces. I guess... I, mu I guess I must have done really well in the battle at one point. Let's see what actually uh, Yeah, so I did really well in the battle. That's, uh... Yeah, let's see what the Akron's does. So it looks like, I guess, Shalka's forces didn't damage mine as much later on in the iterations of the time waves, so my forces were able to completely steamroll Sarko's. At this point, I'm just going to be able to sweep around, make sure, because Shalka is playing Grekum, and Grekum is really good at coming back in a very small area in a very small span of time. So, gotta sweep around and make sure that he doesn't have anything built up that he can just throw at me. It looks like... Yeah, I'm actually not able to really get through Sarkos's resource processors there. He's actually doing a fairly good job defending. While Shalka... And Shalka, like I said, I'm pretty much just trying to steamroll him, trying to finish him off. Make sure that he doesn't do anything tricky. But I don't know how much resources he has left to actually do anything tricky with. And it looks like, yeah, I'm gonna try to get my research processors still closer, but I don't think they're gonna be able to quite make it. I really should send a Zion Gear at some point, but I'm just, I just... I don't really know the difference it makes. I'm pretty much steamrolling Shalka, I just need to get rid of Sarkos, and then I'm, I've won. So at this point, I don't... I mean, I suppose it would be a good idea, but I don't have a huge amount of chrono energy, and I'd probably be using that for main attack. But I am gonna try to send a Zion Gear into the center, to at least get some more resources. It looks like Shalka will be dead. Will be dead fairly soon. Yes, Shalka surrendered. So now it's just Sarko that I have to deal with. So I'm just gonna go over and attack him. It looks like his resource processors are actually moving in, trying to take my resource processors turf, but since they don't have an attack, it's pretty much good. Anyhow, let's get more units built and 
try to finish this game off, because I think I'm going to be able to get this thing done pretty soon. So it looks like there's another attack coming in here. Yeah, I'm just t trying to... Do I have any military? No, I have Machine Beer trying to get rid of that Rears Processor, and I'm just sweeping away... Looks like sweeping away Shulk's old Rears Processor, I've got to get around that. That's just wasting time. So, it's going to run over and get... Is there anything I'm... No, I guess I'm sweeping out his main. So I'm going to try taking over Shalka's main now, see if I can get some of those resource boxes there, and same time, go attack Sarkoz, because Sarkoz is going to be the only opponent now, and I think he's actually, looks like, yeah, it looks like later on he's going to be attacking me, so I better attack him first, unless that's the attack I'm, no, it's not the attack I'm in right now. There's another attack that occurred later, so it looks like I'll be coming in and just taking care of, it looks like, I, I must have been out of Q-Plasma, because he doesn't have a lot of air units or a lot of anti-air units tanks or max or anything like that. It seems to be fairly good against air, but at this point it's going to look like just me a steamroll. Mars do nothing against air, and I guess he wasn't really thinking about that. ATHCs aren't too bad, but Mars are useless. Actually, I'm going to just try to get the Shin Halcyon in the past just to add a bit more of a powerful touch to the attack. And look, Oh, no, never mind. I won. Well, thanks for watching.